So there was a video that made its way around the internet recently, you probably saw it. It featured a woman walking through the streets of New York to point out the problem of cat calls and street harassment. She basically walked around the streets of New York for 10 hours with a hidden camera. And can I just stop for a second and point out, she walked around for 10 hours. That's a feat. Seriously, 10 hours walking around New York City. Do you really? There are Olympic sports that are less strenuous than that. I go to a party and I'm standing in one spot for 45 minutes and I've got to sit down to stretch my back. And she's walking around New York for 10 hours. Slow clap. Bravo. Anyway, in the video, they recorded over 100 instances of men catcalling to this woman. And the point was that, you know, this is a terrible thing when we're getting harassed on the street. And the interesting thing about the video is that it's really sparked a difference of reaction between men and women. See, women are looking at this and they're saying, see how bad this problem is? We've been saying this for years. And men are responding with a collective, eh. And I think that's actually where things get interesting. And that's where women are really getting the most upset is they're looking at men that they mostly respect and agree with on things. And they're like, how can you not be more upset about this? And here's my response to that. Um, women need to understand we live in two completely different worlds, men and women do. And by that, I don't mean Mars and Venus and that whole thing. What I am talking about is like, here's an example. My wife and I, we both went to college together at the same college at the same time. And when we talk about the old days, she would talk about going out every night, how she used to just, you know, go out to bars and clubs, like literally every single night. And we had this conversation one time and I was like, how did you afford to do that? Because I was poor when I was in college. I was like beyond poor. I was po. And I was like, I would have loved to have gone out to a bar or a club every single night, but I, I just, I literally couldn't afford it. So how did, how did you afford it? Because she didn't come from a rich family or anything. And her answer blew my mind. She said, well, I didn't buy the drinks. And I was like, what do you mean you didn't buy the drinks? Did they just give you drinks at the bar? Like, did they just give them to you for free? Like, how did you not buy drinks? And she was like, well, you know, men would just buy me drinks. What? She would go to bars and never pay for a single drink. Men would just buy her drinks. This has literally never happened to me once in my entire life. And yet it happened to her so much that she she actually went out with that expectation. <laughs> she would just go out and just expect that men were just gonna buy her drinks. And similarly with the catcalling thing, I've never been catcalled at ever in my entire life. And I'll be honest, I like it. Actually, in fairness, there was one time I was in Austin, I was on 6th Street, I was walking into a bar and this lady literally came stumbling out of the bar, a woman who was far too old to be doing this to herself and the way she was doing. And she looked up at me and through the three or four teeth left in her head, she said, you're gorgeous. Seriously, made my day. Now guys, you know, we like to play it cool. We don't like to express that we feel insecure about things. We try to act like we don't care about this sort of stuff. But in all honesty, we would love to get that kind of attention just once. For a guy to get catcalled at a hundred times just walking around a city, you would have to be George Clooney. You would have to run a small country. And we don't, we would never come out and say it, but men would probably give anything to have just one day where we could walk out the front door and get that kind of attention from the opposite sex. It would be the greatest day of our lives. So you just, you just have to understand that perspective from men and just forgive us if we respond to this problem with something along the lines of cry me a river we have absolutely no way of understanding what that experience is like and i just i, I think women have to kind of give us a little bit of slack for not understanding something that we have no reference point to so women what i would ask you to do is just understand that we don't understand now let's flip that coin Men, you have to understand, you don't understand. I mean, it sounds fun. You're walking around women catcalling at you all the time. That sounds like a great thing, but you know what? Rolling around in a wheelchair looks kind of fun until you're stuck in one. The only thing that I can possibly uh, compare this to would be homeless people. I am a magnet for homeless people. I literally cannot walk three blocks downtown where I work without at least five homeless people walking up and asking me for money. I guess I look like a nice guy and it looks like I've got money. 
I don't. And I've got nothing against homeless people. I want to help homeless people, but at the same time, I want to walk 50 feet without somebody harassing me. So again, that's that would that would be the only frame of reference that I could go to to understand where women are coming from on this. And from that level, it's totally understandable. Now, one more thing on all this that I just have to get to, because there's a lot of this that I just, I don't understand. I've never understood the, the phenomenon of catcalling. What is it in a man that compels him when he sees a woman walk past and be like, yo baby, what's up, you wanna go home with me, baby? Like, that, has that ever worked? Ever? Like, my rational mind says they wouldn't do it if it didn't work. Like, if you went outside and just catcalled every woman that walked by hundreds of times a day, and every single one of them flipped you the bird and kept walking, at some point you'd be like, maybe I need a new strategy. But clearly not, because guys keep doing it. So why? What are you getting out of this? Like, are you really expecting that some woman is going to be like, oh, you think my ass is hot? Oh, I'm so going to sleep with you. But here's the question I really don't want to ask. Do they ever do that? Like, have they been successful at this at some point? Have they actually, like, hooked up with women from doing this? Ladies, please tell me this ain't true. So I, I don't get it other than it is some kind of just power thing. You know, look, men have a lot of insecurities, and it's not something we can talk about as, as a man, you know? We're, we're, we're brought up to be told, be tough, be a man, don't express weakness, don't cry about things, you know? And I think in some way it manifests itself in that. It's like, I have no control over my life, women won't talk to me, so I'm just gonna sit here on my front porch, and as every woman walks by, I'm gonna just harass her. Because that's the only way I can establish any kind of control in my life. This isn't making it okay, by the way. I, I'm not justifying it. This is no justification whatsoever. It's just, that's the only thing that I can possibly think of that would make a person do that. My, my entire thing when this first came out was, I understand nothing about this. If, if your boyfriend is watching this video and he's not as upset as you are, don't don't put him in the dog house. Look, he just doesn't know. He can't possibly know. Now, if you're walking down the street with your boyfriend and your boyfriend starts catcalling at somebody, uh, kick him in the nuts. He deserves it. Like, there's one guy in the video that literally just walks beside her for five whole minutes. He doesn't even say anything else. He just starts walking beside her. How friggin' creepy is that? I guess he woke up that morning and was just like, you know what would really make today great? Pepper spray. But at the same time, you know, look, I, I like I said before, I don't want to live in a world where if I walk up to a woman on the street and say hello, I'm considered a sexual predator and I get mace in my face. Anyway, those are my thoughts on a Saturday morning. Hope you're all having a good weekend. See you next time.